What's up, guys? Roby Tech here, and we are live in DreamHack with, seriously, Hannah, one of my favorite people. I'm so glad to be here. What are we doing today? We are doing a build-off. A build-off, but it's it's a friendly build-off. I was gonna say, please be kind. Yeah, so it's not it's not a crazy build-off. It is literally, we're gonna build PCs together. That's we're really gonna what build we're gonna PCs. do. So anyway, guys, we are building all new parts using MSI's latest, basically, refresh their max parts. You can see back here, we've got two incredible systems. Stay tuned till the end of the video. We've got performance benchmarks, we got parts lists, we got thermals, we got gaming, we got all that sort of stuff as well, if you're interested in these epic builds. But let's... Let's start building, what do you say? I say it's time. Let's enjoy the video. Let's do it. Okay, so let's go through parts. Yes. So the fun thing about this is that we are using, let's kick it off with the CPU. For the CPUs, we're using the brand new Intel Core i7 14700K. Hannah, what, mm -hmm. what do we got next? What, 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 you wanna grab a part and talk about it? Uh, yeah, I'm looking at this AIO cooler here. This is the MSI, um, what's the actual name of it? Is it it's, MAG or MAG? It's MAG, it's MAG, sorry, MAG. Oh, we have another uh, MSI uh, M8 Mag. Mag. What'd you say it was Mag? Mag. Mag. It's a Mag product. Oh yeah, the 850. <laughs> it's the eight. Their A850 GL. So this is their PCI 5. It's got the 16-pin connection. I actually really like this PSU. Oh, uh, I'm looking at this graphics card up here. It seems to be some sort of MSI it's RTX the, 4060. It's the Ventus. What <laughs> else we got in here? Okay, so first thing we got RAM. So we got Corsair Vengeance RGB DDR5 at 7,000 mega transfer. Okay, the last thing we got right here, which is my, I love this board. So this is the MSI M8 uh, Mag, <laughs> MSI <laughs> Mag Z790 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. Okay, so we've got it all. Let's prepare the arena. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get everything off. Let's get uh, let's get all of the key start components, and then we'll go from let's there. Let's do it. Okay, so what is your in Call of Duty? Yeah. What is your go-to game mode? Uh, just multiplayer, normally TDM. Free for all's my absolute favorite, okay. but I find myself playing TDM the most. Okay, what's TDM? Uh, team Deathmatch. Okay, okay, so you're just like throwing around three letter Ackermans like like yep. everybody knows. Yep, MAG, TDM. MAG, TDM, MPG. MPG. Hey, hey! BIOS, oh wait, no, that's four. Oh, Dang it! Pop it in there. Looking good. Would you look at that? Look at that. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I also just installed the CPU, yeah. so I, I've yeah, liked... Yeah, yeah. Here we go, we're gonna close okay, it. Can I you do it first? Okay, yeah, it's your course. So I'm just gonna close it slowly. Oh, it didn't make it that it high, didn't, but it's, it, didn't it was clear. still a good pop. It, it was still it a good pop. pop. Okay, your turn. Okay. Yes. Just push from this. From this. Slow. Oh, it's still a good pop. Still a good pop. But not. Okay, so let's do RAM. Yep. Let's get to RAM clicks. I gotta mentally prepare for yeah, the click. Yeah, swallow the sleeves. Okay, here we go. First, first click. Did you hear that? How could I not? Oh my gosh. It echoed. I'm gonna do round two here. Yep. Okay, and then it's your turn. You get have this moment. Oh Man, how do I follow that up? That's a good click. You can do it. <laughs> you need that moment. Did you hear it? Oh! Yo, wait a minute. Yes, wait you a did minute. it. I did. Did oh. you see? You literally just saw her grow an inch on Look! All right, we're gonna try again. Good. And that was a double click. Now what we're gonna do, oh, we got our NVMe drive. That's what we're gonna yes. do. So this is something that's really cool about the MSI ones. We actually have a little switch. You push on it and then just lift. We're gonna go like that and it just pops right open just like that. So no, you don't need that's any nice. screws, anything. It's really nice. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take our Spadium drive, pop it inside of here. We are almost MOBO ready. We gotta grab our cooler. There we there go. There we go. Nice. Nailed it. I did it. Nailed it. I learned something new. Okay, AIO. Okay, AIO. AIO. Is on. So all we need out of here is we just need this. I'm not holding this. This is all we need for now. Oh, all the bracket. Yeah, the back plates. We're gonna just get it all prepped, and then we just push this down. So you're gonna yep, put it up on the top. Yep. Just like that. Perfect. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we can put these out of the way because these are done. Oh. We just shift them out of the way and let's go ahead and get our cases. You ready? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip our case. This is the PG-13 time. Take off our back. Wow. We're gonna have some cable management, Miss Butters. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this back peel because it's always fun to do I'll this do one. Let's do it. That was a good peel. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and take the front of this off. There we go. Okay, so my case is stripped. Should I do a peel as well? Yeah, you should do the peel. Right, you're doing a much better job. This is you showing me up. I see how it is. That's right. Wow. 
There we go. I gotta have a win you somehow, gotta have, you, you know? You gotta have a win. <laughs> it's gonna come. There it goes. There we go. Okay, so you got it all laid down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bobo. It's time. Just like this, and we're just gonna pop it and set it in. It's gonna be kind of like a little bit of a a little bit of a and it a just be, yeah, and make sure that you don't get your band uh, cable, cable caught. And there we go, guys. There is the Mobo inside of it. So we now have all of it, and you are done too. I am. It's like we're tied. Yeah. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up all our front panel connectors. Yay. Yay, front panel connectors. Okay, right, I will be right there. I'm gonna finish it, and then you can yeah. look at mine for the little uh, last bit you gotta do. So when you're all done, that's what it should look like. And there we go, then you now have, like when you're all said and done, it just looks like, there you go, just like that. Shall we compare? A seasoned PC build veteran? It looks the same. It's actually it pretty close to the same. I yeah. love that. Oh, of course it helps, so that would make sense. Yes. Let's do the okay. AIO. Now we're gonna put our AIOs together. So now you're just, yeah, we're just gonna pull everything out. This is okay. the quietest we've been during the whole I know. We're, we're, it's like this, like I said, this is actually probably one of the highest, most tedious parts, but if it's done mm -hmm. correctly, it's so essentially all of your cables are now hidden behind your AIO, and then you just have the two cables that come down from the back, so it looks like this. Wow, that's expert. So yeah, then you just have it all, and then mm -hmm. now when I put the AIO on, I'll only have two cables that'll be hanging down. I got you. This is like my, this is like prestiging and caught. Yeah! There's the build as it fits, and then the only two that's great about it is notice that in the back, there's no AIO cables. They're all hidden because they're all hidden behind the actual AIO. You may take over your own build, yes. I did it. Well, I haven't done it yet. Yeah, you haven't done it yet. He <laughs> said no. Don't, 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 don't get excited yet. Okay, guys, AIOs are in, so we're going to grab our power supply box next. Oh. Okay, so we're looking for specifically the CPU cable. Now, the only thing we have to do now is we have to get our pump mounted. So, Thermal Paste will show you how to do the application in this case. We're going to put a dot there, 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 and there, and then just kind of thread it. It's a, That's the most artistic version of Thermal Paste I've ever done. <laughs> Let me know if we need help oh, getting no, stuff I, I, I think, Brian, you tell me. I think I, I, think I killed it. Wow, yours went so much better Did than mine. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. Did yeah, use that in the video. Okay. <laughs> but clarify, please. It was me. I won victory today. I did good. There we go. Just like that. I hope we do more PC builds, because I feel like every single time we're going to have a new like cable management tip. There's, a, yeah, it's like, well, yeah, I mean, I hope so too, because it's fun. Do you have a guidebook on cable management? I should. People you have been should. asking me to do like a video on that for like forever. I think it'd be a great idea. I would watch that. I would, I would, I would like the video. I would comment on it, and I would favorite it. <laughs> That's what I would do if that video existed. Yep. Like, like and subscribe. <laughs> this is where the builds sit right now. Now what we can do is we're getting ready to do GPU. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's unbox yes. our little cute GPUs. Let's do it. They're so cute. They are. A little tooth fan. So you got 4060 Ventuses right here. Okay, so now you got them all. You got the little thing off. Yeah, I gotta unscrew the thing. Now we just gotta screw this in. Ruby, yeah, I would love go. to see you do uh, be competitive playing a video game. I just don't see you getting mad. I actually was a competitive gamer. Oh. For StarCraft and for Halo. So our GPU is officially in. Where how does the door go? I'll show you. Yeah. There it is. Because guys, we're at the bit we gotta hook two cables up, two cables up, and then we power it on. That's it. Last part of this whole thing, we're gonna throw the power supply cable in and then do the power supplies. Look at it go. Isn't it cute? Okay, last bit. Okay, so we now have that. Then you just route it, make it look pretty. Yep, that looks pretty Time to me. Just put the PSU in, and then and, it's done. And like I said, Build I'm so interested finished. that you're doing the PSU last. Because I do it kind of in the middle, but it makes sense to do it near the end so that you're not having to hoist up yeah, a big hoist old it heavy everywhere. PC when you're building. There's just like, there's not a true step-by-step -step process of building a PC. Like, like there's a checklist of things that have to get done, but there's no specific like, hey, you have to do this first, you have to do this first. You it's can do it in any order, like to yes. be honest, that's the thing that's so nice about it. There we go. And then we have our last GPU cable. Going fan down, we're just gonna slip it inside. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and run my one power cable. We'll get this put back together, but there is the back. 
Boom. Chippy. And then we ended up, yeah, we ended up getting, basically getting it both, right? Oh, Chippy's inside. How did he get in there? So like Chippy's inside of the PC there. There you go. Look how good he is. He looks good. Okay. I'm learning so much today. Thank you. We got two power <laughs> cables plugged in. Oh, 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 we have power. We just got to turn them on now. Okay, so flip our switch at the same time. Oh, really? Three, two, one. Okay, and then three, two, one. Roby, Roby. What happened? What, did it work? No. I bet you one of your things came loose. Oh, yep, your power switch came out. It did? Yeah. It never happened. There you go. Whoa, first try. I'm so professional. I got that one, and I've never done a peel like that before. Three, two, one. There we go, two PCs. That was fun. Even though we did the builds live at DreamHack, doesn't mean you're not gonna get all the details on these awesome $1,600 builds we did inside of the MSI MAG Forge 112. Let's run through what we put inside of these two epic builds that we both built and gave away right here at DreamHack. Now, I'm really stoked about the combination of hardware we have here, and we did great builds for someone who was basically looking for a budget, more solid, you know, gaming PC and content creation PC for video editing, 3D work, or even gaming and streaming at the same time. So kicking this off, we basically had the Intel Core i7-14700K. This was like the gem of 14th gen and the Raptor Lake refresh, and the only one that picked up some extra e-cores and got a little bit of boost from this generation. We're pairing this with 32 gigs of 7,000 mega transfer RAM, again, good for rendering and additional 3D work on top of a slight boost in gaming. We also have a myriad of new MSI products with the new Z790 Tomahawk Max, the MSI MAG Core Liquid E240 AIO, the A850 PCI Gen 5 PSU, and a one terabyte Spadium NVMe drive. Finally, the finishing touch and helping keep this thing much more budget friendly is the MSI Ventus RTX 4060, which you're gonna see later on packs a walloping punch at 1080p for gaming. But before we jump into that, let's go over building inside of the MSI MAG Forge 112R. So all in all, this is a pretty straightforward case to build in without a lot of the frills. Definitely you can see that MSI wanted to get those four fans, the RGB hub and splitters for the fans while saving money on some of the quality of life features like captive screws, unified front panel headers, and I would say even more of the, I don't know, the, the quality of some of the materials. But when it comes to fitment and getting everything inside of the case in the build experience, it has it where it counts. Now, some things that made it a much more budget-friendly option. First, you don't have USB-C. It, it didn't come with it at all, which is actually kind of a surprise. Also, you don't have rubber grommets to hide all of the cables. So similar to what Butters and I ended up doing, you're gonna have to work on doing your cable management so you don't have things show through those holes because there's nothing to basically hide your cable management. To be clear, there is plenty of tie down, so it really shouldn't be a problem. Also, up in the top right hand corner here, there's some extra cabling that you need to kind of pull taut um, and, and do some work in tightening up before you start building in the case. Also, there is a very real lack of cable management in the back of the case. So you're gonna have to spend some time basically cleaning it up before you get into your actual build. Now, last thing is that, and it's just the last thing really worth noting, is the amount of room in the back. You're just gonna have to be super, I don't know, strategic about your cable managing in terms of how thick your cable bundles are because you may struggle actually getting the back cover on if you don't think about that. Now, before we get into game performance, how did the E240 actually handle the Core i7-14700K? Well, actually quite well. We never saw numbers get above 90 at the worst and averages were actually in the mid 80s when the CPU was under load. And this is a 240 millimeter AIO. For GPU thermals, we saw the game and under load 
both hitting in the high 60s, which is perfectly fine. Gaming CPU temps were also not an issue, averaging in the mid 60s, meaning that the E240 works as a great cooler in this particular build, both for gaming and workload tasks, like content creation, 3D rendering, and all that sort of stuff. And the GPU was keeping nice and cool right along with it. Okay, so thermals and build experience are covered. How did this $1,600 PC actually handle games? Well, let's, let's kick it off with Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p with ray tracing and ultra, no DLSS, we saw 74 frames per second. Now, if you want to pop on DLSS and set it up to quality, we saw things jump up to 97, which, dude, for a system like this, for 1600 bucks is awesome. For Starfield, another epic title, 1080p, high settings, no upscaling, we saw 55 frames per second. And if you wanted to pop things on with DLSS, you could definitely see that pop up a whole lot higher. So, and that's talking about space faring, planet running, all that sort of stuff. For Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, again, 1080p set to ultra, no upscaling, basically perfect for campaign. We saw 99 frames per second, but hey, you know what? If that's not good enough for you, pop on DLSS, set it to quality, and you can see that jump up to 135 frames per second, you know, just in case 99 wasn't good enough. Okay, so Roby, it sounds like this is an awesome single player PC. What about multiplayer? Well, let's kick things off with Modern Warfare 3, 1080p, this time low visual settings, making sure like people like Butters can be absolutely epic when playing. We saw a solid 151 frames per second. For Apex Legends, also 1080p, but this time we set it to epic just to see how it runs. We saw 155 frames per second, which if you wanted to make it even better, you could optimize for basically low frame rate, basically dropping it down in the quality and optimize for performance and probably get closer to 200. And finally, Fortnite, the game that everybody loves, 1080p, graphics set to competitive, maximizing frame rate. We saw almost an unplayable 275 frames per second. I don't know, Brian, maybe just throw it away. Or you maybe pick up this awesome $1,600 build. Sheesh, it was so good. Now I wanna give a huge shout out to Maiden and BMOC from the Robitech tech team who came here to DreamHack to just play games, but actually took the time to set up these systems, benchmark them, build them, test them thermally, so we can actually make this video live right here. Okay, so let's get Butters in here and let's shut down this video properly. So there you have it, a rundown on our $1,600 MSI DreamHack build we did with thermals, performance, as well as some thoughts on the actual case and build experience as well. Now, Noisy, what are your thoughts on the build? Because you've actually never built in this case either. It's true, I had a really good time. I think it's uh, very spacious, it's very compact. The final look I find to be very uh, cohesive and very pretty to look at. Uh, cable management, I learned a lot. A lot. You taught me so much on cable management. I've never gotten that detailed into cable management before. It was it was actually a lot of fun to build. You know, I did, we had a lot of people come up afterwards and were like, you guys make a great team, and we're going to do a lot more builds. Luckily, we do a lot of stuff with Intel, so there's going to be yes. way more builds in the future. Okay, enough about what we think. We want to know what you think. What did you guys think of the build? Do you like budget builds like this one? And were you surprised at just how awesome this build performed for 1600 bucks? Now let us know all that down in the comments below. Now while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification when we post videos like this right here on Ruby Tech. Also, if you have questions you want to discuss this build or other budget builds or hey, any kind of build, join our Discord server over at discord.gg slash Tech. You know what? You might make a friend. Friends yes, are fun. They Nia, are. We're friends. We are friends. Even though you like blue cheese, we're still friends. Oh, can you, know? you believe this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Also, uh, if you want to follow, if they want to follow you, Butters, where do they find you? Because you're amazing as well. Thank and hopefully you. I'll show up on some of your content at some point in time. Oh, absolutely. You can find me everywhere at Noisy Butters, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, uh, everywhere for the most part. That's and, me. And here at different cons with Intel yes. as well. Yes. Anyway, guys, you can follow me at Robotech absolutely everywhere. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we super look forward to seeing you on the next one. Say bye, Butters. Bye. <laughs> Say, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. Say, I don't like blue cheese. I love blue cheese. Oh my God. <laughs>